Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? Know how I do, know how I Hi guys and welcome back to a, another video. Hi, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Lisa and welcome. Today's video, we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day get ready with me. Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? Show some love to ourselves on Valentine's Day, whether that's dressing up or doing up our face. We gonna look cute, okay? I've actually already gone ahead and done my hair. I'm gonna be doing makeup and of course I'm gonna be doing outfit. I have a really gorgeous dress that I wanna show you guys. Before we get on with this, get ready with me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We hit 40K the other day and I'm so, so grateful to every one of you who support me. If you're new and you support me, if you're old and you support me, I'm just so grateful to, I'm just so grateful for all of you guys, okay? So road to 50K, we're gonna get into the makeup. I feel like Valentine's Day is not really the day to like start experimenting and do like a bold lip, a green smoky eye. I mean, you can if you want to, but I, I don't think I can pull off those looks. I've got some spots on my face that act like they're paying rent. We're not gonna get too close because there's some things I don't want you to see, okay? Obviously, as per usual, you guys know that for my brows, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Precise Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Medium Brown. I actually went to Superdrug this morning. I actually picked up two new ones just in case because yeah this is my brow pencil i shall never remove i've actually heard that the benefit um brow pencil or whatever it is is actually quite good so i might actually give that a go and put the makeup revolution down not really a fan of the like barely their brows i don't think that like suits me my brows are already barely there as it is so why would i want to emphasize that so we want our base to be extra gorgeous this day i'm going to start off with my bobby brown vitamin enriched face base i'm just gonna take a generous amount of that and i'm just going to rub it all over the skin so now that i've gone in with my face base i'm going to get into my primer i want a really matte flawless look so i'm going to use the primer that most helps me achieve that becca ever matte poreless priming perfector and i really really love this stuff like it really really does the trick and just like <sniffs> any dew <laughs> any hydration that you thought you had will be gone when you use this and what that becca primer will do is just kind of act as of course a base but a sticky base one that my foundation can stick to really nicely i want to use a foundation that i know is going to be for coverage but also is going to be very matte and long lasting as well the first foundation that comes into mind when i think of all those three things is my nars soft matte complete foundation i absolutely love this foundation guys really don't use it as much because this is more of a summer color like a holiday color rather than like my winter color i actually wore this foundation the other day and it's so matte and so gorgeous i fell in love with it all over again i've done my best to cover everything that needs to be covered i'm going to be using my Too faced born this way concealer I'm going to go in with a lighter concealer just so we can really get that pop and really get that bright under eye. I'm going to be using actually a favourite of mine which I haven't used in a long time and it's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Long Wear Concealer and this is in the shade C10. So I'm not going to put too much, I'm just going to put a little underneath my eyes and this is just to give it that pop. I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake under eye powder and this is in banana bread. This in terms of smoothness and really giving you that 
it really really does the trick I'm going to go into quite a few palettes actually. Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. This brown right here. I'm just going to use that as a transition color. And this is the color Maple. I'm going to go into my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that is what it's called. This kind of like burnt orangey shade. And I'm just going to take that ever so slightly in my crease just to ever so slightly warm the eyeshadow up i'm gonna go back into my topaz obsessions palette and i'm going to use this really chocolatey brown and again i'm just going to add that into the crease to add depth to this look ever so slightly because i don't want it to consume the whole lid and now i'm going to get in with the actual lid color and i'm going to be using my pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette i've actually never used this on camera before i'm going to take this gold color at the bottom and just take my finger and swipe that all over the lid the gold is a bit darker than i actually wanted it to be so i'm actually going to mix it with this champagne knee color this eyeshadow is just so pigmented and gorgeous and shimmery i absolutely love it just so that shadow will stick just a little bit more because it is very powdery i've just wet this flat surface brush and i'm just taking the shadow all over the lid so it's a bit more stuck in place. I'm going to take my Black Magic Liquid Liner from Ico. Also love the Too Faced one but this one is just a tiny bit more black. I'm going to be using one of these lashes and they are from the Lash Line. I'm going to be using this style right here. These are called TTLL06. Really does add to your look, okay? Gonna get into contour bronzer. So we're not really gonna change it up too much. We're just gonna do a bit of reverse contouring so my cheeks are a bit more prominent. Ula Caramel Bronzer. So I do want a tiny little bit of contour, nothing too harsh because again, we wanna look sexy, wanna look sultry. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty. And it just looks like that. I'm just gonna take that ever so slightly with this angled brush. Now I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and we're going to be doing the reverse contouring I was talking about. This really gives you cheekbones without having to do anything. I like to start as high as possible. I really want to keep this look bright, so I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm just going to take this really small brush, and what I'm going to do is just take a tiny bit, and I'm just going to add that underneath my eyes. I'm going to take a tiny sort of angled brush go into my hula bronzer powder again and contour my nose obviously this look is for glam so we're gonna make the contour a bit more obvious today instead of light Ciao, this face is deep honey and i'm going to be using my mac blush in the color in the shade peaches and it's just this really gorgeous like peachy pink blush i haven't used this in quite some time i like to drag my blush upwards and now we're going to go ahead and set all of that and i'm using my mac mineralized skin finish in a medium deep we don't want to look too powdery but we want to make sure that not a shine can be seen anywhere so we actually haven't finished contouring the nose. I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty powder again and just take that 
ever so slightly down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to use this Adol Beauty lip liner and this is in the shade Boss Lady. That's actually a bit more pinkish than I anticipated so I'm going to go in with my MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut over that. So I'm going to go in with my Chem Beauty lip gloss in Butterscotch and my Samani lip gloss in light salmon. I'm just gonna take that in the middle. Then I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Pout Bomb. This is a plumping lip gloss. It's a clear gloss and I'm just gonna take it on the outside of the lips. This is in the shade Glaze. I'm just going to go into the Topaz Obsessions palette and use that orangey shade and just put that on the waterline. Like so. I'm going to go in and put um, some shimmer eyeshadow in the corner of my eye. I usually never do that. This is the finished look, well in terms of makeup. What do you guys think? Really glam, really matte, and just like really pretty. I'm really, really, really in love. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the outfit. I've got a really gorgeous dress that I wanna show you guys. If the outside was open and I could dress up and look cute, I think this is potentially the dress I would wear. This is a dress from a brand um, a brand called Kiku Studios. So I've just gone for my little Fendi Zuka bag because I feel like it really does go, kind of offsets the dress. And then I'm going to go in with my Dior perfume in Belle de Joie and just spray that all over me. Absolutely love this dress it's got the cutout details going around all the way around the back and then it's got like a really low kind of skirt and it goes all the way down to my ankles i'm using my vlogging camera so it doesn't have that like wide angle so i can like you know pull it down and show you guys everything but uh what do you guys think Shakira, Shakira. So these are the heels that I decided to wear. They're they're like these Fenty dupe heels, and they're actually from Pretty Little Thing. And the orange just goes so nicely with the orange on the dress, and then just offsets it. And then the orange with the brown on the Fendi bag. Because the dress is so much, I thought um thought to scale it down with jewelry. I just got these bangles from ASOS, and then and I've got my cd christian dior earrings that is pretty much it for this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this valentine's day get ready with me if you're spending this valentine's day with your significant other or you are by yourself i really do hope you guys have a wonderful lovely valentine's day if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of content please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know you enjoy these type of videos that is it from lisa i will see you guys in my next one Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.